So I'm here at my four by four and uh, I'm gonna head up into the woods and we're gonna try to identify some trees just by looking at them. Now some people might just think, isn't wood just wood? You would think that, wouldn't you? So we're gonna go uh, look at some trees, touch some branches, I don't know, something like that. Let's see what we can find. All right, so I found a place to park, so I've left my 4x4 on the side of the road here, and uh, let's go look for some trees. Found some trees. There's at least one or two around here, and uh, one thing I'm starting to notice is a lot of these are all the same. Now, there's different characteristics for trees, depending on what kind you're looking for. Hardwood, softwood, do they have needles, leaves, do they have cones that fall off? These ones seem to have cones. So let's try to figure out what kind of trees have cones on them. Mmm, looking around, looking around. It looks fresh, right? Maybe. Little ones, and they grow up to be big ones. So, looking closely at these kind of trees, what do we got here? They feel soft. They're not hard and spiky. I wonder which one it could be. Take yourself a moment to figure it out. Now underneath it, could be a hint here for you. There's something underneath. What are those? I'm not talking about all the uh, twigs and dirt. We've got these things underneath it. Are they different kinds, sizes, depending on the tree? Maybe. What kind of tree is that? Don't forget to write your answer down below. Let's keep on walking around. Now here we got two different types of trees. Again, soft, short needles. And then over here, longer. Still the same kind of color, they're both green. Slightly different shades, but these are longer. Again, still kind of soft. What kind of tree do you think this is? It's only a little bit taller than me. What could it be? So, the long needle tree. Comment down below, what kind is the long needle? What kind is the short needle? All right, here we have a tree that has fallen over. Oh my, but that's not the subject of this next question. The next question, I'm gonna show three objects that I've balanced carefully, and you're gonna figure out which one came from a tree. So here we go. Number one, what is that thing that is balanced here? Hmm, did it come from a tree, yes or no? All right, next. Those things, did it come from a tree? Yes or no? All right, next. Did it come from a tree? Yes or no? Uh, anyways. Okay, that, that, that last one, I don't think it came from a tree, but I think I found some other parts for it. There we go, just some uh, short pieces. Anyways, let's continue, shall we? Up the hill. Okay, here's something that didn't come from the tree, but maybe it came from something that eats trees? Perhaps, anyways. Great thing about M&Ms, they melt in your mouth, not your hand. Here's a bunch of trees that appear to have human marks on them. Somebody with the chainsaw probably, but either way, we got some trees out here. Did that come from a tree? Or did it come from the thing that dropped those things that I thought came from a tree that would maybe eat those things? Now here we got something that's made from a tree, but it looks a little different. Here we got some lumber. That probably came from Home Depot or somewhere like that. What do we got here? Can you tell by the grain structure what kind of material this is? Well, now we got two of them. Are those from a tree? They're near a tree, but they're not a tree. Okay, that's probably good for now. Where am I at right now? Can you name that mountain range? I can't, I'm new to town. That's why I'm exploring. Cheers, see you later.